Greetings and welcome to today's lesson. In today's lesson, we are looking at word problems and we are on page 77. All right, so let's go ahead and begin here. So the book has the story problem on this side uh, and then we're actually gonna show the work on the next page. So let's go ahead and read this. So a grocer, a grocer is just someone who sells groceries. A grocer has three times as many red apples as oranges, okay? He has 50 oranges. Right, so that'd be important. So 50, three times as many. So how many apples were there? So we'll have to figure out how many apples there were. 56 of the apples were rotten and could not be sold. How many apples could the grocer sell? So we have to figure out how many apples there are and then how many apples will he be able to sell or she be able to sell, all right? Okay, so let's turn over to page 78 and this is where they'll have us do this work together. All right, so here we have um, three times 50. So they've already told us this. So we had 50 oranges and three times as many. So we're gonna have three groups of apples. So we're gonna do three times 50 and that's what they have here, right? 50 oranges and three groups of apples that are all equal to that. So all of these, and we don't have, you don't have to write this in here, but just so you can see, all of these are equal to 50, okay? Because they're all equal to this one. All right, so three times five, so to do this, you have three times five, and that equals 15, and the zero goes on the end. Okay, so there's 150. You can check that. So 150 divided by 50 equals. So whenever we have zeros on the end of both numbers in a division, on both sides of this, we can get rid of that one and that one. 15 divided by five is three. That checks out. Okay, so now we know we have 150 apples, right? But that's not what we were trying to solve for, right? We want to see how many apples we could sell, so we're going to have 150 apples, but 56 of them went bad. So how do I figure out? So here, I have two groups. I have a whole and two groups. This group equals 56. This group is unknown. So what do I do to find that missing group? I'm going to use subtraction, okay? So 150 minus 56. Zero minus five, I have to regroup. This becomes a four, this becomes a 10. 10 minus six is four. Four minus five, I need to regroup. This becomes a zero, this becomes a 14. 14 minus five is nine. All right, let's check that. 94 plus 56. Four plus six is 10. One and nine make 10 plus five is 15, or yep, so 150, 150, that checks out. So there are 94, all right, so 150 minus 56 equals 94. The grocer could sell 94, all right? And we don't have to to, uh, to check this because we already did it um, here and here, okay? So we already, we already did this. All right, let's look at the learn together on the next page, page 79. All right, so it says, in a week, a city bus used 72 liters of gasoline. All right, so there's our 72, they already labeled it for us. It used eight times as much, right? So there's our comparison language, so we're using a comparison bar model, right? And it used eight times as much, so it's gonna be the bigger one gasoline that I'm, as a motorcycle. So a motorcycle used a lot less. The motorcycle used 45 liters less gasoline than a car in the same week, right? So that's going to be down here, okay? So how, um, in the week, so how much gasoline did the motorcycle use? That's the question mark for this one. So this is for letter A. How much gasoline did the car use? This will be for letter B. So it's asking two questions, so we have two question marks. All right, so, um, so here we have 72 liters, and it used eight times as much. So we need to figure out how much one of these little boxes is equal to. So I know that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight times something equals 72. So how do I figure that the opposite way? Yeah, I'm gonna do 72 divided by eight, and 72 divided by eight is, is nine. Okay, and that's true because nine times eight equals 72, okay? So we know 
that it made 72 liters. Right? So eight units equals 72 liters. One liter equals, or one unit equals 72 divided by, by eight. Oops, and that's supposed to be our answer, which was nine. All right, so the motorcycle used nine liters, okay? Now we have to figure out how much the car used. Well, I know that the motorcycle used nine liters. I'm not putting a six there, I don't know why. A nine liters. And we know that the motorcycle used 45 liters less gasoline than the car. So it used less gasoline, a difference of 45 liters. So now, how do I figure this out? I have nine and a difference of 45 equals this. So this minus nine equals 45, right? So question mark minus nine equals 45. So how would I figure this out? Well, I would do the opposite, right? I would do 45 plus nine, All right? Let's do that over here. 45 plus nine, five plus four equals equals 14, one plus four equals five, okay? Let's check that, 54 minus nine, four minus nine, I need to regroup, this becomes a four, this becomes a 14, 14 minus nine is five, four minus nothing is four, those two check out, and therefore I can be confident that 54 is my answer. So nine plus 45 equals 54, so the car used 54 liters of gasoline, right? And so here we have a two-step problem, and this one it just made more sense to draw two comparison bar models, and that's how we get the answer. All right, let's turn over to page 80. All right, Andrew collected 63 card games. He collected seven times as many games, uh, many game cards as Natalie. How many game cards did they collect all together? <clears throat> all right, so this is going to be uh, two steps here, right? We gotta figure out Natalie, and we gotta figure out all together. So first thing, we have Andrew. Okay, he collected 63, and he collected seven times as many. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven parts. Natalie only has one part equal to one of Andrew's parts. So, here, to figure this out, we have to do 63 what? What are we going to do? Are we going to multiply to find a smaller number? No, we're going to use division. Okay, 63 divided by 7 is 9. All right? And we know that that's true because, um, because 7 times 9 equals 63. Right? So there's 9 and uh, the 63 and the 63 check out. Okay? All right, so now we know that Natalie has nine, right? So um, now what we see here is we have no longer do we have seven units, but we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? So Natalie has the same as him, so now we have eight boxes. So we can do eight times eight, Eight times eight is 64. We know that's true because 64 divided by eight equals eight. And so how many cards did they collect altogether? They collected 64 game cards altogether. And that's because we have eight, um, eight of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And they each have That's not right. I multiplied it by eight. I don't know why. All right, I need to go back and check it. They didn't have eight times eight, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, but there was nine in each one. And so that's 72, right? So we have 72 divided by nine equals eight. And eight and eight, check out. So there we go, 72. Oh my goodness. All right, good thing we go back and check our work.
Now method two, we do the same thing. 63 divided by seven is nine, so now they collected nine. The other way we could do it then is now that we know we have 63 here and nine here, we could add 63 plus the nine from Natalie. 63 plus nine. Three plus nine is two, or 12. One plus six is 72. Let's check that, 72 minus nine. Group this becomes a six, comes a 12. 12 minus three, 12 minus nine is three. Six minus nothing is six. Those two check out, and therefore they have 72 cards, right? So, two different ways of solving this, and both ways are right. Okay, there's no wrong way to do this problem. You could figure out how much each box is worth, and then go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times nine is 72. Or figure out this is 63, 63, and 9 make 72. Either way is perfectly fine. All right, let's turn over to page, uh, page 82. Okay, so we're going to skip page 81 and come to page 82. All right, and this is the, uh, the only one that I want you to do independently today. All right, so... Go ahead and read this problem. They've already modeled it for you, so you'll just need to label the model. Make sure you show your algorithms and your checks. Uh, they did not provide you with a sentence, so you'll need to write two sentences, okay? You'll need to write an A sentence and a B sentence down here at the bottom for uh, to answer each of these questions. All right, go ahead and work on this uh, now independently and come back to the video when you're ready. All right, so, Let's go ahead and read this together. All right, so in, class, in a class of 20 students, five students joined the art club. Okay, so art club five. Twice as many students joined the dance club. Okay, we don't know how many joined the dance club, but we know it's twice as many. The rest of the students joined the teacher club. All right, so how many students joined the dance club? All right, so here we have five in this one, and this one is two of those. And so we know that this is five and five. So we have two groups of five. So we're going to do two times five equals 10. And that's true because 10 divided by five equals two. And those two check out, okay? So 10 students join the dance club. So we can put that down here, all right? 10 students joined the dance club. All right, so we always want to write our answers out like this. All right, now we need to figure out how many join the teacher club, all right? So here, we know there's a total of 20 students, and we now know that 10 joined the, the dance club. So first, a couple different ways we could do this. Uh, let's first figure out how many students have already joined clubs that we know. So let's go ahead and figure out this. So how many students join the art, the art club and the dance club together? So we're going to do 10 plus 5 equals 15, 15 minus five equals 10. Five minus five is zero, one minus nothing is one. Okay, those two check out, all right? So that means we have 15 students who joined the art and dance club together. How do we figure out this last part? Well, I know there's 20 total students. I know 15 have joined clubs. I need to do subtraction to figure out the other one. So. We can do 20 minus 15, 2 or 0 minus 5 is negative 5, don't want to do that. Cross it out, this becomes a 1, this becomes a 10. 10 minus 5 is 5, 1 minus 1 is 0. Let's check that. 5 plus 15, 5 plus 5 is 10, 1 plus 1 is 2, those two check out. And so there were 5 students who joined the, oh not teacher club, theater club. Sorry, I misread that. Theater club, right? So how many students joined the theater club? Five students. I forgot my T up here, goodness. Students joined the theater club. All right, well that's all for today. I hope you have a terrific day. Good luck on your independent work, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.